It's Friday night, y'all. How y'all folks doing? Hope you're doing well. We're running a little blind. Um, and we're not going to be long tonight. Um, my brother-in-law's not doing so well, Ty's brother, so that's what delayed us. So y'all send us a prayer, okay? Um, pray for us and pray for him that he, he that he's okay. And that he's, the Lord does what he needs to do. But we're going to go on and do our thing tonight real quick. If you seen the post earlier, I'm featuring D-Wade's wine. I've been looking for it. They finally got it for me. It's a Chenin Blanc. It's a, a Chenin Blanc. It's a three by Wade is the name of the wine. So we support my brother D-Wade, Dwayne Wade, a Hall of Fame basketball player. So he has a great collection of wine. So what we're going to do tonight, we're going to do a quick... Brie, and that's that's cheese. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, sweetheart. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Uh, we're gonna do a big, quick brie, which is if you're not familiar with brie, it's probably one of the creamiest cheese you'll ever see. Um, so we're gonna do that, and uh, and I'm gonna torch some oysters real quick. You heard me right. I'm gonna torch the oysters real quick. <laughs> uh, so let me show you the brie. It's in. I have this crafty little dish. That's what it's gonna bake in. The oven's at 350. And I'm just going to put it in the oven. I just got to remember not to grab this out of the oven like this, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Elder R.C. Lee. Thank y'all so much for the prayers. Mm -hmm. Hi, Erica Holder Pender, Terry Wilson Bush. Thank y'all so much for coming on. We pushing forward. Yes. God is in control. Yes, Thank you, American Jackson, Yolanda Cunningham. Yes. Thank you all. So what I'm doing tonight, actually, we're going into the holidays. This is a great, great segue to go into the holidays. So, I got a little fruit here, cause I got the brie cheese, and I have some oysters. Here are the oysters. I already shucked them. Great oysters. They call, I think, Atlantic Willet. I think they're in the North Atlantic. I picked them up from uh, Whole Foods the other day. Mm -hmm. Well, not the other day. Today. <laughs> you can't hold oysters for long. Um, so I already shucked the oysters. Got them ready. So what I'm gonna do, I've got the cheese in there. I'm gonna take the oysters and place them in this dish right here. Not dish, my skillet. Cause I'm gonna put some heat on them. With the torch. I'm gonna put the torch on them. Hey Sharon Brown, Azealia Kelly. Thank you Angela Crenshaw. So I don't know if everybody loves oysters, but I do. So I like them sometimes. She don't like them like this. I can eat them just like this. <laughs> no. And that little juice that came off of them, that's like, that's like God's blessing. So for me, that's nothing but flavor. So Thank you, Terry. I don't want to lose that. Hey, Carol Dunn. Thank you, okay. Gail Moore. So we got those in there. So I took a little bit of butter and I chopped up some garlic and I'm going to pour this on it. The spoon a little butter on it and, and I got chopped like I said chopped up some garlic. Is that just butter? Just butter. Okay. Salted butter. Pretty butter in it. Hello, Danette Mance. Tammy Johnson. Get some good butter, baby. Yes. Vonda Anderson. <laughs> some good butter. It looks like good butter. It's butter, baby. And then I'm gonna spoon a little bit of parm on it. Parmesan. Grated parm. Just bought it in the uh deli section. I try to get some Decent cheese, you know, I don't like, always like the, the one, well, I don't craft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like to do that too much. Thank so you, So I'm going to put a little bit of that on there. And then I have some Asiago cheese. Yes, yeah, Donna Woods, Jacqueline Steele. I got some Asiago, and I'm going to grade that on there. Uh... Jacqueline Stevens said, hi, fam. I went out and purchased all the tools. I saw kit views and the stuffed peppers. <laughs> you got to have that one, too. That's a, you got to have that grater. Uh, it, didn't you call it a microplane? Microplane. So I'm going to take the uh, this little tool here. I use it for so many things. I brulee, creams. I, so much. I'm torching oysters tonight. So I got it on high. And it, when I say it's high, it's Woo! high. <laughs> all right. So I'm just going to torch the oysters. Uh, Tracy Meyer says she loves your shirt. Hey, Florence Taylor. So, Mary Bell say I can I can't eat oysters raw. It has to be an oyster sandwich for me on French bread. I'm just melting down the cheese. Hey, kinda, Cheryl Smith. Almost like brulee in these things. I'm gonna come back up a little bit. 
Thank you, Elder R.T. Lee. Thank you so much, sis. Thank you, Rhonda. I need to put a time on the cheese. How long do you think it's been in there? Like three minutes? About three minutes. How long has it been on? Uh, I don't know. Okay. So uh, it's just torching the oysters. Carol Dunn, I've been letting out some liquid sunshine. Uh, you were, you did one on earlier. My brother is in ICU in Mississippi. He's not doing well, but God has the last say. Um, so thank y'all for your prayers. So I can smell that right now. Thank you, Pamela Dow. We're gonna put a little bit of heat on the, on this butter because I'm gonna drizzle a little bit more. I wanted that to be a little thicker when I torch it. Then it, we um found the Wayne Wade's wine. So yeah, D Wade. D Wade. Hall of Fame basketball. Gabrielle Union's husband. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we got the oysters. I'm torching them. Put a little heat on them. They looking good now. Drago's makes the best. That's Gail Moore. Thank you, Danette. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we cheat. We're doing it the cheating way. The way you can do it in the house. <laughs> you ain't got to be over the grill with all yeah, the smoke. So I'm still going to get that, that charred flavor. Thank you all for and the If you prayers. notice, I'm going down in there because I want the bottom and I want that to heat up for me. And the reason why I want that to heat up because I'm going to use some bread to sop that up. Sop? What you mean sop? You know sop. Thank you, Candy Minix. Patricia Burns, hello. Right, see, if you get closer, you'll see those oysters. This kind of... They cook it right yep. before your right eyes. Before your eyes. Don't try this at home. Yeah, boy. <laughs> that, you have to call the fireman if you do. That torch ain't nothing to play with. Trust me. Boom. Then it said, yes, chef. Thank you, Patricia Burns. Thank y'all so much for the well wishes. Thank you. Then you take you a little bit of... little French bread. Babe, it ain't too hot. What? What you just burnt up? <laughs> hot to my finger, but it ain't gonna be too hot to my mouth. Put that right there. I gotta blow it. I know. <laughs> That's the first time I think I ever seen you blow something. Thank you, Hattie. Mm. Linda Frank said exactly like I do mine. Mm. Add a little white wine, put under broiler in the bottom rack, and a dash of jalapeno chopped pepper. And Dip French bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know some people like a little hot sauce. That's some good stuff. This is not iodine. Nope. This is, this is my hot sauce dipper. Gilmore said that'll work also. Put a little bit of that on. Uh, Elder R.T. Lee said she don't want them oysters on the menu for her party. <laughs> Duly noted, sis. I got you. Patricia Burns said uh, looks delicious. So you take another? Mmm. Babe, you gonna enjoy them all by yourself. Hey, Tia Sanders Green. I know you don't like them, baby. I don't like them. Um, some have said oysters are aphrodisiac. Mm, you're in trouble then, baby. <laughs> Danette Mance. Jason A. Thompson, what kind of hot sauce is that? That's crystals. Crystals? He just, he just poured it in that bottle. Yeah, I just put it into the, uh, the little dispenser. Is this the Jake, Jason A. Tompkins I grew up with? I think this is him. Is that right? Yes. Hey, uh, Danette Mance says, delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm going to heat them back up again. Tia like, say love for some oysters. You like oysters? Yes, LaDonna Torres said I love oysters, aphrodisiacs. Oh, I yeah. I would love for you to be at a restaurant. <laughs> Thank you, Shirley. And the maitre d' or your server came by and actually did this at your table. I know that's right. It is. Hey, Jason. Sending love. Mm. It is him. Your high school classmate? No, no. I went to church with him. We grew up together. Okay. Yes. Right. You want to try our Lola? Lola over here on the fruit tray, guys. I'm, I'm just eating, man. <laughs> and the wine, I have to say, is pretty good. He weighed it pretty good. Yeah, you you getting a refill. It's like a little, it's dry. <laughs> Patricia said that's all in their minds, the aphrodisiac part. No, it ain't. Jason, I wish I could deliver to St. Pete, Florida. Florida. <laughs> So I heated up some more butter because I wanted it a little warmer. Lola, you gonna try our oyster? Lola and said, uh-uh. Not today. On there. <laughs> Everybody say hey, baby. Say hello. I gotta have a little lemon back here. She said hey. So how if uh, all my oysters lovers, let me uh let me see there? if you like oysters. I gotta try another. You gotta try Don't another. You sure you know? Hattie say my dad loved them. I try to eat them, but I love to see other people eat them. Me too, Hattie. <laughs> Baby, you didn't slurp the shell. 
I will, bro. Low over his snurfing, honey, do melon. It, it mysteriously left the tray, the beautiful fruit tray. And this is sliced pears. Mm -hmm. So as you were saying earlier, holiday season is coming up. Um, if you want to make something quick and pretty for your family. I think it's been 15 minutes? No. Hadn't been 15? Uh-uh. Renee said, heck no. <laughs> Renee don't do the oysters? No, that net Shula's did it for my 50th birthday. I guess Shula. she got the uh, by the table treatment with the oysters. Shula's, great steak restaurant. Renee, you stay on because we got some brie cheese in the oven, Milton. And Renee, you want to try this wine? It's Dwayne Wade, Chenin Blanc. It's good. It's good. It's good. Danette said you need horseradish. Janice Smith says she loves it. So if you like horseradish, he going to the if you're a horseradish lover, well, I just happen to like horseradish. <laughs> so since you called for some horseradish, you gonna add a I little might well try it, huh? <laughs> Put a little on there. And then I'm still going to spice it up with a little of that crystal hot sauce. Uh, Jason, I, I don't eat the raw oysters. I like mine. I with just cook these, babe. I know, but I don't eat them like that either. Not, who said I just put the horse? Jason out? says, not fair. I'm holding the camera. You eating all the horses. <laughs> Jason like, looking like out for his fair. girl. I just can't, but I like to see others mm. eat it. That's Terry Bush. Um, I'm eating all the fruit, baby. What happened to the honey do melon? <laughs> I think the cheese is about ready. Right Thank you, Danette. We love you too. Carol Cunningham's. I love oysters. I love them fried, steamed, raw, raw, roasted, or raw. That's Tia Sanders. Well, this is what the fruit is going with. And there's a reason why that paper is crumpled like that. I didn't pull it out of a trash can. I didn't pull it out of a bag. I put it. I pulled it out like that because when I sit the cheese on it, God is the healer. Thank you, Pamela Dow. It's gonna ooze out. And, and, those, and those little waves and curves you don't helps wanna... you to dip, dip it out of there. Okay. That's the tip of the day. Yes. Uh, Charlotte Thomas said, Oyster Rockefeller. Dude, dip that bread in the bottom of that plant pan. That's Linda Frank. You ain't said nothing. If, don't play with it. You if you're going to do it, do it right, said brother. You ain't the word. <laughs> Did I see D. Hines on here? What's up, brother? I tried to find you. I couldn't see you. Rosalind Newton mm. says, yummy. I just dipped it in there. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. I like my oysters with bacon, cheese, spinach, yeah. and cooked I, I in the oven. Baby, I know, I know. No, though. she, she, they, someone mentioned it. Mm -hmm. Um, hello, Raquel Ed Edmund Lyons. Okay. Yes, we've had oyster rocks. I think it's been 15 minutes. I think it's been 15 minutes. That's it. I need a, um... They said, stop that bread, Kip. All right, let's see. So that's the brie cheese. I need one more towel. Oh. Would you please tell us the name of the wine? It's called. Oh, I didn't really put that there. Um, Lola. Grab this right here. There by Lola. Wade Chenin. I want you to get my hand, girl. Everybody all right? Yeah, we all right. There by Wade Chenin Blanc. Uh, where Shinin. did you Shinin. Shinin Blanc? Where did you find the wine? Uh, I found that at Fresh Market. If I'm not mistaken. Harold Rucker said them things with lead in the pencil. <laughs> After our grown folks out. Fresh Market. <laughs> then that y'all make me miss my All hometown, right. Louisiana. Okay, so let's see if the brie is melted enough. It's got a little, it's got a little We're going to give it just a couple more minutes. Yes. Thank you, Patricia Burns. That wine is smooth, then it said yes. We're going to give it just a couple more minutes. And when I do it, what I'm going to do with the wine, I mean not with the wine, but the cheese. I'm going to take the cheese, put it onto my paper. I'm going to pour honey on top of it. Mm. Some Tupelo honey. Mm. And then we're going to just eat it with some French bread. Sounds fruit. good to me. So brie cheese is a good accompaniment. Oh, with... we didn't kill my fruit tray. That's fine, baby. Eat That's it up, baby. <laughs> it's a good accompaniment with something sweet. Like most people serve preserves. You're doing honey. I'm doing honey. Okay. And I've seen people put nuts yep. mixed with uh, well, some type of sweetener. Mm -hmm. um, I thought about doing putting apple preserves on it tonight, actually. Some, <laughs> Linda say, look at that lemon in the background. I'm hungry now. Tammy said, yes, yes, sis. I know it's we time for us to get We're going to have another. I, I'm not even going to use any bread this time. 
Tammy said, yes, yes, y'all need to get another bushel. You, I, <laughs> you hunt we and, and fry us. <laughs> Yeah, frost is gonna be bad with me. I, I decided to do oysters the week you leave. I'm, God, dog. Thank but you, I, Danette. I went to the market and I saw them, and they had a good price. So, Jacqueline, Jacqueline said she's making mama tea cakes this weekend. Let mm. us know how they turn out. That's good, baby. Mm. Mm. What the liquid tastes like? Ocean water. Heaven must be like, like this. It mm. must be. Gotta be like this. <laughs> hey, Jackie Paxton from Texarkana. Uh, Boy, so, so we getting up. That just looked like a tree that got sick. <laughs> that fruit tray the gone. Killed it. Tammy said the Lord knows. Yes, he does, mm. Tammy. So we got three more <laughs> that we're going to eat. But I'm going to sop up some more of that. Good stuff. Good stuff in the bottom of that pan. I'm going to the Biltmore okay, Hotel in most, Phoenix. Who's going to the Biltmore? Then that man. In, in a week. Baby Bree. Okay. And honey, yes. Oh, yeah, somebody know what I'm talking about. Jason Aiken, you missed it, brother. You got to watch it. He did it with a torch. Aiken, brother, you missed it, brother? I torched him, man. You got to go back and watch him. the replay. Aiken, um, man, this is better than uh, me and you hanging out at the half shell in Biloxi, Mississippi, across from the Hard Rock. You couldn't even say Mississippi. Put some spec <laughs> on that name. Karen Williams, hello there. Hey, Kelly saying Skipper, that sounds good. Bree Jason, cheese with this bread. is what I did them with. Jason, you were wondering how I did the oysters? I torched them with my torch. Don't try that at home, Jason. Jason, yeah. <laughs> I not did for, not, Tammy. That's not for rookies, Jason. <laughs> Harold S. Rucker digging your shirt. Everybody loving your shirt, baby. Thank you. I bought this shirt 2019, right before the Savannah Jazz Festival, didn't I? Mean, yes. Gail Moore said, what I'm going to eat, because you on a mission. <laughs> I'm going to give Ty going to eat honeydew and bananas. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good, y'all. <laughs> Jason said, better to hang with him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm getting ready to pull this cheese out. Rosalind Newton said, dip the sour bread in the broth. Yeah, he I had some French bread. I Boy, a little rat keep eating up our fruit. It's leaving, too. <laughs> and then, perked on the live. You say, excuse me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so. What do so, you call this little pot that you bake in the brie made cheese for, in? It's made for this. Okay. It's a, beet, it's a brie bacon cheese pot. Mm. And be, you know, if you go online to look for this little cheese pot, it's probably going to cost you about 30 bucks. Where you find well, it? Well, I'm a I'm a thrifty shopper. I went to what's the name of Home Goods? Home Goods. You got to know the name. You got it for like nine bucks. <laughs> well, there you have it. Elder so, R. T. Lee say, feed me something, mister. <laughs> so we so we're gonna get the cheese out. But I oh yeah, it's right now. It's right, babe. Don't burn your hand. It's right now, baby. Get in there. Cheese on the paper. And for those that didn't don't, didn't hear me earlier, I wanted it on crumpled paper for a reason. Hey, Sue Berta store, Patricia Byrne, he make me want to go and buy some. Now he making my mouth water. <laughs> who, who said that? Yes, Gail. Uh, that was Patricia Byrne. Your sister say take care of your uh, buttons on the shirt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he did eat all the oysters, so, y'all. I don't eat them like this. So. Okay, so we got the uh, a little time on there, and time just. As a favor because it's heat and it makes it look good. So it's like a sweet savory. And you just drizzle. Lowe says stink. Just let it ooze all over. Carl said you are no good, Gwen. You bacon Jones. You let it ooze out. <laughs> you making some you making some enemies, baby. This is my little cheese oh. spreader. I don't know, but I want some of that it's on a the crack. Oh there it is. Breed with fig preserve and walnuts, the bomb.com. So you take it. I did, didn't it? <laughs> you cut it. This is a sexy little Friday night snack, and man. You just let it. The oyster. Yeah. So you get your little bit of. I toasted some baguettes. Hey, Cheryl Cooper. I toasted some. You just put it on there, a little mm -hmm. honey. With that honey. So it's a salty cheese, Bree is, yes. if you've never had it. So the sweet and salty is everything. Want to taste, baby? Yes. That's for me, y'all. Yeah. What do you want to taste? Mmm. Ooey gooey. Oh, it really like is. You don't like American you cheese? You should try it. I only like American cheese. But you're studying French. <laughs> so you should indulge. Mmm. It's really good. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. 
It's so velvety. And smooth. And smooth in your mouth. The honey, the combination of the salty. Salty and the sweet. And mm. the cheese is very creamy. Mm. And then the texture of the bread. Then that said, I'm going to have a good night tonight. I don't know what she means. Look at that. I don't know if y'all looking at that like I'm looking at it. Mm -mm. Baby smacking. Lord, today. Tammy said, wee wee. Wee wee. <laughs> French cheese. So really, this is full of flavor, guys. Something different from the norm. Mm. If you got a, a little a, a date you want to impress, get you some brie cheese. Mm -hmm. Get you some brie. Stick it in the oven 15 minutes. I get, some, my eye. get you some fruit. <laughs> get you some French bread. Get you, oh, you can use some crackers. You don't have to use French bread. Like a good d way wine. Get you a good d way wine. And some good music. And you own the song. Oh, don't forget the aphrodisiac. Oh. <laughs> uh, Had to say, looking very sexy. Mm -mm. Danette said it's her favorite cheese. It's like, for me, this is like a mukbang in it. I'm just eating. <laughs> yeah, like you really eat. <laughs> so, there you go, people. Tammy said she needs some smoked salmon. Oh, that would be good, Tammy. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm. Baby, that's oh, my bread. bread? <laughs> Lord have mercy. You know what, folks? I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I've been working hard today. Very hard. And I, I haven't eaten all day. <laughs> That's why he's tearing up them oysters. So I was hungry. Then it said her husband like your shirt too. Thanks for Gail said you still ain't fixed that button. Can you eat the skin on the cheese? No, hey, Trey. Gail. <laughs> Sexy. That's what they call me. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Sexy Man. No. So that <laughs> What's was your it, guys. name is? I took some fresh oysters. I put some garlic butter on them. I used some good butter. I'm going to tell you what butter I used tonight. Which butter you use? Dorothy Lockridge, get you some, sis. <laughs> Pearl Shelter, Lord Shelter, let me cook in a new. So anybody do some bacon, they know what I'm talking about. Carry go. That's yeah. a good butter. That's a good butter. They, uh, had, they must have it on sale. They do not have it on sale. Three ninety, four dollars, uh, two dollars a stick. That's not cheap. No, that's not um, cheap. Um, some some fresh garlic. Pour that over the oyster, shucked oysters. Parmesan cheese. A little cheese. Parmesan cheese. I had a little Asiago on it. Torched it. Or you can put it on your broiler if you don't just walk around with a torch in your pocket. Yes. Put it on the broiler. Get you some French bread. Some Cuban bread. Or you can get you some light. Crackers. Thank you, Howard <laughs> McNeil, for the stars. Up, get you some D-Way wine. Ernest said this yeah. show is hey. X-rated. So, <laughs> Ernest <laughs> Carter. It is, bro. It is, bro. And if anybody know D-Way, let them know. That I'm talking about is wine. Chef Kip. And he should send me a collection of all his other wine, <laughs> and I'll talk about some more of them. Because I know he got some. This bottle costs about 20 bucks, but he got some that costs like 100 bucks. <laughs> Dr. Kim John said, what happened to your plate presentation tonight? You went all in. It was a presentation. <laughs> that was that, a presentation. That was a presentation. <laughs> Serve it in the skillet. <laughs> <laughs> Carol about to sing that song. Okay. That's everybody's song. Baby, Mr. Sexy Sex Man. Man. Who song was that, baby? The Fries sis. <laughs> What's my name? What the fries? Uh uh, don't do my friend. <laughs> Organic hey, brother Roslyn said. Organic hey, we're gonna get brother. ready to get out of here. We want to do something real quick tonight. Yes. And uh, uh, we need to reach back out to our family in Mississippi. Yeah, get and, an update. Uh, we're gonna keep praying for my brother. His I name. To him. We're not talking to him. That's the other day. Yes, we talked to him last Monday. He was in good spirits, but this past Monday. Yeah. Yes, he took a turn for the worse. But mm -hmm. God is in control. His name is Kenyatta. If y'all want to pray by name, yes. Like uh, most prayer warriors do, Kenyatta Miller in Jackson, Mississippi. My brother. So. We're going to get out of here, y'all. It's been a fun, pleasing pleasure. As well as a privilege. Thank y'all so much for and tuning I, in. I pray tomorrow we get a chance to hang out again mm -hmm. and spend some time with you wonderful people. I thank you for what you do. Cooking with Kip after dark. Hey, check out the website. Hey, thank you for all the, the new followers this week. I think yes. we had, I don't know, a lot. <laughs> uh, so, and we uh, we have over 20,000 followers, and the goal is to get to 100,000 followers. We get to 100,000 followers, y'all. Jason, y'all been asking me about that cookbook. We get to 100,000 followers. It's on. It's on. It's already working in the I'll background. I'll put it out the can when we get to 100,000. So tell all your friends, go and knock on your neighbor's door. Show them how to log on to cookbook. Just take the phone. Take their phone and, and, and hit follow. And hit follow. <laughs> tell all your friends. 
follow Cooking with Kip after, and uh, and, and check out the side on YouTube too. Yeah, we're trying to move up on that. Your friend Jason Aiken say he hungry as hell. Pearl Shelton want, want the lemon cake recipe, baby. Hey, I'm gonna. Somebody else asked me about the lemon cake recipe. Thank you, Georgette Collins. That She's new. The recipe that I did the other day was very, very hard. Extensive. I'm gonna say hard. It was extensive. It was a lot of, a lot of steps. So I got to do a lot of typing. From the lemon curd that I made to the icing had multiple things in it. I was making that for a function. And when I made it, I told Ty, I said, I won't do this again for a group of people because I'm doing way too much. <laughs> he, made, he made the curd from scratch and the icing. So yeah. it was a lot of work. Yeah. Thank you, Rita yeah. Bryan. Prayers so, for prosperity. So, thank you so much. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you for... Uh, um, I, I thought about counseling tonight, but I know what? I knew you guys would put a smile on our faces. Yes. Put a smile on Ty's face. So God bless. Thank you. Love, peace, and so. I stole that from Donnie. Well, not, not Donnie. Don can you? Yes. I don't know. I told you I borrowed hey, stuff. Hey, Sharon Salter. Y'all have a good night. I love you. Sharon Brown? Sh uh uh. Yeah, she's on. Sharon Brown. Thank you, sis. Sharon Salter Dunn is on. We had a lot of new people yeah, on. And Thank y'all. I think y'all got to tune in. I got to say this before we leave. Got to tune in next Wednesday because we're going to be tasting the wine that one of our wonderful followers that have put in the mail for us. Can't Elder, wait. Yeah, elderly. And I'm so excited. And I, t I already told her, Ty, you, if you can't dog her out and talk about that wine. She knowing my sister know I ain't gonna dog her out. You can't be going left. <laughs> I won't. I already told her I'm gonna pinch you if you do. All right, I pinch back. Thank you, <laughs> Darlene Knight. Y'all have a good night, y'all. Thank y'all so much. Take care.